Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are going to try solving some Gay-Lussac's Law and Combined Gas Law problems. So let's jump into it. Problem 1. The temperature inside of a bell jar was allowed to change from 23 degrees C to negative 35 degrees C. If the initial pressure was 762 torr, what was the new pressure? So this is a Gay-Lussac's law problem. Volume is constant and temperature is changing and we're going to see what happens to pressure. So identifying variables, P1. T1 is 23 degrees C, so plus 273, that's 296.0 Kelvin. P2 is what we're solving for. Our T2 was negative 35.0, so plus 273 comes to 238.0. Recall that the gas law can be written as P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, so by cross multiplying we get P1 T2 equals P2 T1. Solving for P2, it's equal to P1 T2 over T1. Remember that because we have so many variables, it's important to identify them to make sure that you're putting them in the right location because you really have a 50-50 chance at getting them in the wrong spot. So now we know what P2 is so we can solve. So P2 is our P1, 762 Tor, times our T2, which is 238, divided by our T1, which was 296. Now we need to cancel units. Kelvin cancels out, and when we plug this into our calculator, 762 times 238 divided by 296, we get 612.689. Looking up here, we had three sig figs, three sig figs, and three sig figs. We need to round to three sig figs. Our third significant digit is the two. The number immediately following it is a six. The rule is 5 and above, you give it a shove. So that means our 612 will round to 613 Tor. It's also good to look at what was going on here. Our temperature decreased, and in uh, Gay-Lussac's law, there's a direct relationship between pressure and temperature. If the temperature went down, the pressure should have gone down. It went from 762 to 613, it did go down, so we solved it correctly. And that's a way you can check yourself. If your pressure did not go down in this case, then you would go back and look and see if you plugged things in incorrectly up here, if you confused your T1 with your T2. So now let's do problem two. Problem two, a balloon with initial conditions of 52 degrees C 6.3 atmospheres and a volume of 26.7 liters. What would the volume be of this balloon at standard temperature and pressure? So now notice we've got temperature, pressure, and volume. That means that this is a combined gas law problem. So now let's identify the variables. So our P1 is 6.3, our V1 is 26.7, our T1 is 52 degrees C plus 273 is 325, our P2 is standard pressure, 1 atm, V2 is what we're solving for, and our T2 is standard temperature, is 273 Kelvin. So you'll recall that the combined gas law is P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2, and by cross multiplying, you can get P1 V1 T2 equals P2 V2 T1. We have to rearrange to solve for V2. So V2 is going to be P1 V1 T2 over P2 T1. Can't state enough times. Be careful plugging the numbers in so that you get them in the right location. So our V2, our new volume, will be our P1, which was 6.3 atmospheres, times our V1, which was 26.7 liters, times our T2, which was 273 Kelvin, divided by our P2, which was 1 atm, and our T1, which was 325 Kelvin. Let's cross out units. Kelvin cancels out. 
atmospheres cancel out, we're going to plug in 6.3 times 26.7 times 273 divided by 1 divided by 325. So you have to hit divide twice. That comes out to, on my calculator, 141.29 liters. Let's look up here, two sig figs, three, two, two, three. So we're going to round to two significant figures. Our second significant digit should be the four. The number immediately following it is a one. Uh, four and below, you let it go. So our answer will be 140 liters. So this is Ms. Augustine. I hope these help you. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.